Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Shandice and this is part four of my To Who Much Is Given series. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about inspiration, inspiring you and also inspiring myself along the journey to fulfilling our purpose. So point number one, plant your potential. Now we've all been told that we have the potential to do amazing things and sometimes for me personally I get so caught up on the fact that I have potential that I don't actually work on perfecting my craft. I don't actually think about well just because I have potential it doesn't mean that potential is going to always be there. This is the time to get started to start planting that first seed in order to get to where we want to be. Point number two, use your gifts to inspire yourself. Yes, your gifts are also to inspire the world, but don't only think you've been given them to make a difference to everyone else. The gifts that you have are also to inspire you, to get you started. So always bear that in mind that you're not only gonna be working to make a difference to everyone else, but everything that you've been given is also to help you get started, to help you make those first steps, to help you along the process. There's always something that you can offer yourself that sometimes the world can't offer you. Point number three, stop fearing what you have the power to do. One thing that I've noticed in myself personally is that I contradict myself. I believe in my ability but then at the same time my ability scares me and then sometimes I don't believe in my ability but then my ability still scares me. Now the only way to combat that fear is to just get started because to be honest throughout the process as you get higher you're going to always have doubts, you're going to always have fears, you're going to always feel as if can I do this, can I not do this. So yeah the only way to really eliminate that is to just keep going don't be fearful of what you have the ability to do really and truly you should be fearful of doing nothing and my last point point number four is less is more it's important not to confuse doing a lot with making progress there's a difference between being busy and being productive there's a difference between having a lot to do and having actual purposeful pursuits that are going to move you forward and I know sometimes it feels good to have a lot to do even though it's overwhelming but you kind of fool yourself into believing that you're doing something of relevance you're doing something of importance when sometimes you're only exhausting yourself you're only wasting your time when really and truly you should be focusing on maybe one or two tasks that are going to actually move you forward. So just to recap, plant your potential, use your gifts to inspire yourself too, stop fearing what you have the power to do and less is more. I hope you enjoyed this video, check out my website which is seedsbyshandies.com and I'll see you in part five. Bye!